Hello, my name is Tom Knipe. I'm a park ranger at Bear Creek Lake State Park in Cumberland County, Virginia. And today I'm in the Cumberland State Forest. The forest and the park have a common origin, that of being a 1930s federal project to renew and reestablish the environment for the benefit of the forest community and for the human community. Since that time, we've come to learn that the strength of a community lies not in similarity, but in diversity. And sometimes we can have fun looking at our own selves within another being a member of another community. So let's have a look. Some of you may feel like you're a hardwood, strong, but your life has led you maybe make alterations, maybe change plans or directions as you grew, all of which has led to a strong survival. Others of us have just grown out straight, had the room and the ability and the opportunity to grow straight and tall. Others of us might not be tall trees. Some of us might feel small, not in ability or beauty, but maybe just small in stature. Maybe we're like early ferns, the fiddleheads on early ferns. In just a few hours, they unwind. They'll roll back up as the, and then as the fern continues to grow, become greener and stand up as the small shrubs and beautiful plants that cover the forest floor as part of Virginia and, and elsewhere. Some of us, of course, might feel like we're briars, or we may feel like we're beauties trapped in briars. But briars are an important part of the forest. So don't be disappointed if things get a little sticky. Some of us see ourselves as towering pines with a beautiful green cap worn proudly all winter long. Others of us sometimes like the beech. The beech is a beautiful tree that hangs onto its leaves from last year all through the winter. And the new green ones will come soon in the spring. And some of us hang on to the past longer than we should. Embrace the beech. Remember to let go of the old leaves when the new ones are blooming. Others of us might be a holly, hidden along creek beds or in understory of the forest, green all year round and noticeable in the winter. It'll sort of get hidden as the other greens come on, but maybe that's what it's waiting for. Broad elements are essential to both human life and forest life. Things like air, things like water, and the soil on which we stand. But sometimes, for reasons not known, elements don't quite act in accord for our natural benefit. Sometimes they challenge each other. And when elements like water challenge the earth, we get erosion. Similar to circumstances that sort of sweep the ground out from under our feet. It's at those times it's important we can support each other, find new ways to grow, and new ways to continue to reach out to each other. In this eroded area, the roots of these two trees have grown together and actually help support 
the two of them and maintain their growth. They couldn't question why the water washed away the soil. They just knew what each of them needed in order to survive. It's been written lately that the trees have a story to tell. Indeed, they do. In many ways, their story is our story. And perhaps it's time we listened. Thank you for joining me on the journey.